What's up, family? Hey, I want to jump on here and talk to you guys about something before we get into our conversation. Um, this will be my 399th video that I will have uploaded to this channel. Um, and I started this channel back in August 23rd, Kobe Bryant's birthday. And so in that time frame, man, uploaded a lot of stuff, you know. Um, that being said, so listen to a song. Um, earlier this week and took me back to being a kid um, song was Shaka Khan's um, Through the Fire and that song came out I wanted like 84 I love that song I, I'm not going to attempt to sing it or you know any of that madness today but I really like that song but there was something about that song that just didn't sit right with me at the time you know um and it was a couple of things that didn't sit right with me at the time. The first thing was that, man, ain't no way in the world I'm going through nothing for nobody else. You know, I'm not, ain't no woman bad enough for me to have to go through all this madness. You know, Shaka Khan talking about going through the fire. She, she willing to do this, 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 that. Man, I'm not doing all of it. I'm not doing none of that. You know what I mean? That was my mentality at the time. 14 years old, I didn't know. You know, <laughs> I did know I was ignorant. I learned real quick right afterwards, though. Stay with me. And so, a week ago, or earlier this week, when I was listening to it, it hit me. It's like, man, there was something about this song that just didn't sit right with me, other than the fact of, man, going through all that for somebody else. But it dawned on me. It's like, man, if we're honest with ourselves, family, we go through so much madness for other people. We will go through hell for our relationships. You know what I mean? Literally, we ride or die for our relationships. You know what I mean? And yet we won't do that for ourselves. Yet we won't go through the fire voluntarily for our own growth and development. Yet we won't do that for our own best interests. Yet we won't do that to reach our full potential. We'll come up with all kinds of excuses. We know we need to lose weight. Psh, I ain't doing that. It ain't that serious. But then when we talk about being in a relationship with somebody and whoop de whoop, man, we losing weight, we getting fit, we got blah da da da. You know what I mean? Man, we doing it. We doing it. Hard. You know what I mean? But for ourselves, psh, it ain't that serious. Ain't that serious? That's all right. We would do all kind of stuff for other people to get the affirmations from other people. We would do all kind of stuff to get the attention, the approval, the accolades, the love for from other people and won't do what we need to do for ourselves. When it comes to us, man, we can't get right. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can't get right. What is it about us that makes us invalidate who we are? What is it about us that causes us to minimize who we are? What is it about us that causes us to dismiss who we are? But then when there's somebody else involved, somebody we're interested in, our significant other, man, we doing all kind of stuff for them. We inconveniencing ourselves and everything for them. But won't put the work in for ourselves. Through the fire. Crazy thing about the fire. In order for you to reach your full potential, you're going to have to go through the fire. You're going to have to go through the fire. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. 
in order for you to bring out your best in yourself, you're going to have to go through the fire. You're going to have to go through the fire. In order for you to deal with your emotional baggage, in order for you to deal with all the trauma and all the other things that you've gone through, you're going to have to go through the fire. There's no other way around it. There's no if, ands, buts about it. You're going to have to walk through that fire. In order for you to overcome your depression, your anxiety, your fear, whatever the case may be, whatever your issue is, whether it's drug abuse, whether it's um, alcohol, whatever it is, you know what I mean? You're going to have to go through the emotional fire. You're going to get burned. But the fire isn't meant to destroy you. It's to burn away all the toxic things that you've been holding on to. The fire is meant to consume all of the negative things, all the bad energy and toxic energy that you've been holding all of these years. It's meant to consume all of the negative beliefs that you've held on for all of these years. But you're going to have to walk through the fire. My hope and prayer is that you find the courage to be able to walk through your fire. And please understand, you're going to walk through multiple fires. Multiple fire, whatever your issues are. If you have multiple issues, you're going to have multiple, multiple fires that you're going to have to walk through. Every one of us have multiple fires that we have to walk through. If you can't handle your finances, that's a fire you're going to have to walk through. If you suck it in relationships, that's a fire you're going to have to walk through. If you have emotional baggage and trauma from your childhood, those are fires that you're going to have to walk through. They're different fires. And you're going to have to walk through each and every one of them. In order to reach your full potential. In order for you to be consumed of all the negative toxic stuff that's held you back. And for you to come back as that phoenix. That you were created to be. That fire is as though... It's the cocoon for the caterpillar. It's that transition that takes the caterpillar to a butterfly. That fire is what takes you out of your prison, out of your bondage, into your promised land. You're going to have to walk through the fire. Stop running away from it. Stop hiding from it. Stop trying to tiptoe around it. None of that's going to work. You're going to have to man up, woman up, and face it. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.